Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. I am still inside of the caverns. Which I came to complete Sebastian's quest. And of course I'm going to continue. I'm sure I'll be meeting more demons on my way and skeletons and corpses and maybe I'm just at the end of it <laughs> but I'm sure I'll still allure Lady Harriman hmm Starkhaven will not submit I put What's that wrong idiot game? Goran Vale into the prince's seat but the other families won't heed him I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. Are you a mate? You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? Hmm. Ex that, actually, that's made? true. Demon Who must want something out of this. Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian. You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to know those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. It's not only you the demon's fault. You both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. Hmm. But I wouldn't betray my, betray my friends, that's also true. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. I'm not. Oh, such a pious soul. Masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands. The same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. Hmm. <laughs> That's true. I don't think uh, putting aside worldly goods could not make you just forget about them, stop wanting them, but Right now, we shouldn't listen to this uh, demon, and You'll we should be a just. Good ruler. It doesn't matter what you do to get there. No, I didn't I'm mean not that. Acting from ambition, I only want what's best for my people. For the people who adore you, all those smiles they used to say for your brother, now you'll be the shining prince. No. Mm. All you have to do is kill anyone in your. Wow! Life. No. I didn't mean that. Wow, okay. <laughs> you, we are going to fight you too, okay. Killing us. This is not going well. Hmm. Uh oh, more behind me. Wow. 
Okay, that's not good. We lost Anders. No, no, uh, you need to drink a potion. Okay. Let us return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harman's soul. We can try that. Okay. And... Let us return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Sebastian! I am so, so sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do, what those creatures made us do. We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Hmm. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. Mm-hmm. You know Mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. <laughs> so how did the demon get here? Was your here? mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Right. It is demons who should be feared, not mages. Those ruins <laughs> there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Uh, y yes, yes. Uh, don't try to wiggle out of it. It's true that demons had an effect on you, but you brought this on yourselves. Your mother really wanted to do this. You can't just put it on all demons. Like, demon made me do it, like that uh, stupid psychopathic person in the first act. No, you also wanted it to happen. So that's why demon got to you. So you get all the debauchery and none of the blame? Do not hmm. suggest I did this by choice. It's a demon of desire, I kind of Flora, do. not coercion. It can't tempt you with anything you truly don't want. Exactly. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not <laughs> make up for what happened. No. Exactly. That's true. I'll tell you when I need you. <laughs> Why? Why rivalry? I just told the truth. Okay, let's just go to the Chantry then. Let's talk about this, Sebastian. Uh, how do I get out of here? No one's talking. Is that supposed to be Andraste's face on your crotch? What? Hmm? That belt buckle thing. What? Andraste. 
My father had this armor commissioned when I took my vows as a brother. Wow, it is. I'm just not sure I'd want the maker seeing me shove his bride's head between my legs every morning. Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's really he's undressed his face down there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't see that before. That was good catch, Anders. So, choir boy, hmm. this usurper of yours is uh, 20 feet tall? Not even close, no. But he has claws for hands, right? Fingers. Perfectly normal ones. If a little fat, perhaps. He eats babies, though, and farts fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious, I hope. <laughs> you can't even pretend to be interesting, can you? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Hello? Well, let's talk. I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demon's touch. But I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come <laughs> off. <sighs> you just need to scrub. You have what you need. You did nothing wrong. It's true that he did nothing wrong. <laughs> but you know... Uh... You have what you need. What do you mean with this? I don't want to be rude or angry. I'm not angry at him, but I want to say that uh, he has the support now, like at least from one family, and he also knows who killed her. he killed his family, and maybe he can do something about it. I don't know. You have what you need, Sebastian. The I won't stand against you. Will yes. you ride back to Starkhaven now? I don't know. Flora said others are still vying for the title. I should find out who before I charge in blindly. In truth, Maybe. I can't feel as righteous as I did before. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? Or simply to have what I never thought I could? Never thought Aren't you could? are you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were rather traditional they wanted mm -hmm. the air and the spare and i was left in the cold they put me in the chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers <laughs> so you didn't join you my choice very dedicated to the chantry you were put there against your will at first but it was the best thing that could have happened i was a wild boy a shame to my family oh the chantry made me a man <laughs> it's odd when I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Hmm. I don't know. Well, is this going to be better for your people if you go and take your land back? What does your heart tell you, Sebastian? It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. Your I service. can think of a few services for you to perform. Oh, that's what? so lame! <laughs> Why are you smiling like... Oh. Oh my. That's, that, that's not what I meant. I... Uh, I think I need to pray. <laughs> Damn it! That was... <laughs> that was so funny! That was so funny! <laughs> she at least... You gave me some friendship, but I don't know. 
Let me just check that. You still rival mostly. Should I talk to him again? What is this about? All right, let's talk to him later, maybe, because uh, I think my companion session of the beginning of the game must end here. And I am sure the other companions of mine will want to talk to me again. So let's do this later because I have a gift for him, I think. And this is the, this is a first. Maybe I will do this when I have gifts for my other companions too. I think that that will be better. Let's check if you guys have conversation for me. No? Okay, so let's decide. I actually want to go for a secondary quest first. And it can be the night terrors. I want to go and look how Fenriel is doing. Not so good, apparently, according to her mother. And for that, well, I am going to help a mage, right? So I am going to take Anders with me. I am sure that he is going to be very happy about it. And I don't know. Maybe I can take Meryl with me as well. Hmm. And yes, I, I want to take Sebastian too. Because I want to get to know him a little bit better. And maybe I can see his opinion on mages with this quest. But... I'm going to have us all long range fighters. This is not really good. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe maybe Meryl can wait for another quest. I know that I haven't been taking her with me a lot, but I'm going to remedy that. Let's take Isabella. Yes, let's for for this quest, let's take Isabella. And I'm also curious to see Isabella Sebastian <laughs> banter a little bit. I think it's going to be really interesting. Like quite interesting. Let's go for that. Let's go. So to the low town. Let's go. You seem very angry. And here I thought mm -hmm. the Chantry was against mind reading. Did something happen to you in the circle? I understand there were problems in Ferelden. Are you saying a mage can only be unhappy in the circle if demons are involved? No. Mm -hmm. It's not about Aldred. It's not about being beaten or raped by a Templar. That does happen. But I've been fortunate. It's a larger principle. The freedom every man, woman, and child born in Thedas have as a natural right. You were given to the Circle. I was given to the Chantry. Hawk was driven away from home by the Darkspawn. None of us are free. No, that's not the same. No, I don't think so. In Anders' case, given to being given to Circle, it's other people's fault and it can be changed. I don't know. This can change. Wow! Assassins? Really? What the hell are they doing here? During the daylight? Move along! Catch you on the details. Search corporal for more assassins. Something sketch. What? Where? Where is sketch? Who is sketch? Okay. 
All right, let's just go to Ariane. I don't have much time, but I think it's enough to start this quest at least. But let's check on around. Anything to loot? Not really. Okay. Hi, Ariane. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but... I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fenriel went into a nightmare and hasn't hmm. returned. Two days. A nightmare? He can't be woken up. The Keeper says he is near death. His lips still fog a mirror, but that is all. So has anyone gone after him? Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade. I have contacted Keeper Marathari. Mm -hmm. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help. But it requires someone Fainreal trusts to enter the Fade to free him. I can do that. I have braved the Fade before. Perhaps I can aid him. You have been so kind to us. Fainreal thinks of you as a true friend. Marath Hari is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fainreal back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. Frolic through dreams? Sounds like an experience. I'm game. You want to go? Enter the Fade. Hawk, don't do this. The Golden City was corrupted from such folly. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? We can start. Let's do this. This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect. Hello? You're in the city? like a special entrance to this quest I wonder why I came quickly Ariane I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is the magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Somniari a dreamer dreamers have the power to control the beyond what humans call the Fade Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive Two ages? How do you know? How do you know that? Hmm. First to survive. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. Hmm. So tell me about these dreamers a little bit more. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at mm -hmm. will, without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams, and even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers and slay them in their dreams. Wow, okay. And tell me about the Fade a little bit more. Is there a difference between the Beyond and the Fade? They are the same. Mm -hmm. By either name, the Fade is the realm of spirits, Fade is his heart. While the mortal realm is its strong arm. The demons who live there covet the bodies of mortals and seek to possess them. Only mages ever touch the Fade in a waking state. Others see it in dreams. Hmm. 
So about this ritual, what can what you exactly are we going to do here? The elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari arts. Mm -hmm. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Famriel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. Come on, I'm not going to ask for money. I want to help Famriel. We can do this. Let's start the ritual. Just send me into the Fade. I told you her courage was legendary. <laughs> Now, Ariani, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just want me? <laughs> tell me about her son, probably. Is Fainreal in danger? Indeed. And the danger may not come from what you think. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls tranquil. He will be no threat after. I don't know. I remember Fain... No. I don't want to turn a mage into a tranquil. Well, I am sure that I will be able to save him. I, I trust myself in this. I want to believe that. I don't want to That's do it. That's Fainreel's greatest fear. I will be the one to make it come true. I have no choice but to leave it in your hands. Now, gather a team and we will begin. Choose carefully. For all will face temptation. Hmm. I cannot join you in this. The fate is no place for men of faith. I never give you <laughs> temptation. <laughs> I worry what a journey to the fade might bring out in me. Let us begin. Okay. So you're not really... You, you just faded out. You just don't want to come and will not come. Huh. <laughs> You know, uh, Isabella wanted to come, though I'm kind of... I don't... I kind of don't know because I never give in to temptation line just <laughs> scared me a little bit, but... Yeah, I'll just let her come. Maybe... I don't know. Yeah, let's just let her come. But... Meryl... Wow, it can be really uh, interesting to... Take her with me into the faith, seeing how he, she is going to face the demons. And maybe it will give me a better idea about her being a blood mage to see the reasons behind her. I don't know. Dealing with demons thing. I don't know. Ah, I may, I may be doing a really bad mistake, mistake here, but this group of people coming with me into the faith is going to be really interesting and I am going to learn much more about them. Okay. I decided I want to do this. But I... I had not thought to return in such a way. Oh, oh no. To feel the breath of the fate again. Not the empty air of your world. Wow. Uh, can I speak to Anders? <laughs> you look different. I am Justice. Anders has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainwheel's mind straining. We will not have much time. Damn it. Wow, look at that. Sebastian. Wow, you just <laughs> rivaled my ass so hard. Okay, uh, this is the time for me to go, everybody, because I am out of time. I will see you in the fate in next episode. So stay safe. See you again.